here look at this the first figure shows the interaction of the single coil okay so the force acting on the rotor is on one direction here the second figure shows the the rotor passes between the two stator coil inner stator and the outer stator there are two forces acting on the rotor here the twisted coil the <coughs> twisted coil has three type of forces here inner stator outer stator and also the twisted portions also interact the rotor magnets okay now i am going to this is the single coil now i am just i am switch on the supply here the single coil outer side outer stator okay provide the stator coil inner side okay here the stator coil is provided inner side so the rotor moves this direction okay here the twisted coil twisted portions are apply on the rotor what happened look at this look at this the twisted portion interact the rotor top top side coil okay here here the three directional impacts are created by the 3d coil Hello friends, here look at the 3D high efficiency motor, the motor has 6 stator pole, a twisted coil is inserted, here inner side and the outer side, 6 pole stator, here look at this, this is the twisted coil and inserted in the stator slots, ok. Here there are two type of rotor I have used, four pole ferrite magnet rotor and uh, neodymium magnet eight pole rotor is used. Here this is the rotor for inserting the magnets. Okay, here I want to insert the bearing, okay. Here this is the bearing and now I am going to insert the rotor.
here the motor is running voltage 9.1 volt current consume point point not to ops okay voltage 9.1 volt now i i want to also measure the current through the multimeter okay here yeah. i am going to here here the multimeter and the regulator power supply currents are same okay